Last time I talked uh, to you about the ZE, uh, very manual camera. Today I want to talk about the, yeah, the war of giants. Canon, uh, Nikon and Minolta all came about at the same time with cameras with sort of the same functionality. We're speaking about uh, the late 70s, early 80s of the last century and um, Canon started in 1978 with the beautiful Canon A1. No, I'm not a writer. Until this camera, the Canon A1, um, cameras had the possibility of uh, having automatic shutter time or automatic aperture, um, but that was about it. Uh, light metering itself was not that sophisticated as we know it uh, nowadays. Um, the Canon A1 had aperture priority, shutter priority and full auto mode. So it made taking photographs, taking pictures a lot easier. In fact a lot of professional photographers thought it would be um, difficult for professional photo photographers to uh, maintain their jobs because everyone could take pictures now. And yeah, well, I guess it's uh, from all times. Um, when photography uh, started, um, everybody uh, was likely to say uh, the art of painting would be destroyed. Um, and with the start of um, uh, aperture, priority, shutter priority. In fact, having the exposure automatically calculated by the camera would make um, photography um, uh, disappear as an art. Um, of course, nowadays we have digital cameras and um, during the period uh, digital cameras came, we had the smartphone and now we are all talking about um, that everyone with a phone is a photographer. And yes, it's true. And yes, it's true, you can take beautiful pictures with smartphones. Um, but it's not about the, uh, the, the, the um, mechanics, it's not uh, the tool, it's always the artist. So, um, don't blame technique uh, for not making great pictures. Um, let's take a closer look to the buttons and dials so uh, I can explain uh, this beautiful camera to you. This is the Canon A1. Um, like I said, not with the original lens. The original lens would be the 50mm um, f1.8. Um, it's an FD mount lens. Uh, there are lots of FD mount lenses um, all over the world. Um, so um, they will be cheap and uh, in most cases it's um, good glass. Um, okay, uh, let me walk you through the buttons. First we have uh, the on off switch. Um, A is for on and the L is for off. Uh, that would be the L for lock and as a matter of fact um, when it's on lock it doesn't take pictures. Uh, when it's on A it does take pictures. Um, we have a uh, self timer 2 seconds and 10 seconds and we have um, uh, multiple uh, exposure possibility. Um, rewinding uh, like this uh, if you don't want to rewind, but you want to cut the shutter, then pull that switch, cut the shutter, the film is not uh, winded, and you can take another picture. Um, he's taking uh, slow shutter speeds like you uh, probably heard. Um, that brings me to uh, this knob here. Of course, this is the shutter release. Um, we have the possibility uh, to have it on program mode um, and we have the possibility to select the shutter time by turning that knob 
we have uh, shutter priority, and of course we have aperture priority. And with the same dial, you can choose the right aperture or the right shutter speed. When you have the lens like I have here in the A mode, and you turn the dial here to P, then you have the, the all auto exposure mode. Um, depending on the uh, speed of the film you're using, you will select the right shutter speed and the right uh, aperture uh, by metering. Metering is done through the lens um, and the values of um, the chosen aperture uh, and shutter speed can be read um, in the viewfinder. Um, there are um, red LED lights. Uh, those can be turned off and on with this uh, switch. Um, so you will not be distracted. And um, staying at the viewfinder, there's a possibility to uh, close the viewfinder so you can take uh, long exposures um, without having uh, light falling in through the viewfinder and destroying your image. Okay. Um, did I cover the complete right hand side? Um, yeah, well, we have a frame counter over there. Uh, I still think frame counters are useless. You have a picture left or you don't, you will feel it, but okay. Um, then uh, here we have the um, dial for the uh, ASA setting. Um, it's secured by this little tiny knob. Pressing that will make it able for you to turn the dial and change the speed. Um, you have to turn this speed if you're using another uh, film than you did last time. Um, you have to adjust this. If you don't, um, the metering will not be correct. Um, perhaps if you notice it soon enough, you can do something uh, during development by uh, pushing or holding the film, but yeah, it's better to have this uh, set in time at the correct ASA value. Um, that same knob uh, can be used for exposure compensation, um, and that is secured by this little knob here. Um, pressing it will enable you to compensate exposure. Um, yeah, well, um, it goes from uh, one quarter of stop to four stops. Um, of course, we have a uh, hot tune and we have a sink port here with a nice cap on it. And what I think that's very neat here on the side, we have this little black knob, not with the chrome, but entire black. If you push that, uh, the meter will give you a reading and if you hold it, uh, it will uh, keep that reading even if you go um, to a darker place um, uh, or a brighter uh, area. Um, so this way you can um, lock, metering, hold and then click. Um, yeah. Um, another nice feature is uh, this little switch here. Um, it enables you to have a preview of the depth of field. By pushing this, you actually will close the aperture um, and uh, see what the depth of field is. Um, and that is uh, that comes in very handy. I mean, if you set the camera on A of full automatic then you do, do not know what aperture is chosen. Of course, you can see the reading, but you don't, do not see the entire depth of field. Um, 
and there is no way you can uh, pre-close or whatever, but we have this switch, and then you can close and see the uh, depth of field um, and adjust the aperture if you want to. It would mean that you had to go back to manual mode, but okay, that's up to you. Um, yeah. Um, for the rest, uh, there is the possibility to uh, mount uh, a motor winder uh, here. It functions on a battery, and the battery is uh, within uh, this compartment. Um, it's, uh, if I'm correct, a 4L44 battery. Um, I will uh, put a description in the show notes. Um, yeah, and how to open the camera? Well. Like that, pull up the uh, rewind knob, and uh, yeah, this it is the inside. If you want to buy a camera like this, a Canon A1, um, there's one thing I should mention. Um, this is my third Canon A1. Um, the first had this uh, squeak. And uh, that was in the release. Um, as a matter of fact, when the uh, mirror is returning uh, and there's not enough lubrication there, uh, you will hear this creak. It's not uh, having any effect on the shutter times, I think. Um, if you think otherwise, please uh, leave me a note in, in the comments below. But. Um, uh, it's it's a really weird noise, and if you want to take uh, take uh, photos in a stealthy manner, uh, well, no way. Um, it can be solved by um, adding lubrication, and I think it should be done uh, uh, somewhere. Mm, yeah, well, you have to unmount and unscrew this, um, and here, and. Um, well, there are a few uh, videos on this on, on YouTube, by the way. Um, uh, this one had some uh, TLC, and uh, luckily enough, uh, it had some it had some lubrication as well. And so this one does not have this squeak. Um, okay, I think um, this is it. This was the video on the Canon A1, uh, the first in a series of three, Clash of the Giants if you want to. Um, hope you liked it, I hope it was uh, useful for you. Um, for me, it's, it's a special camera. Um, I of, uh, often use it in street photography. Um, it's, it's a nice camera to, to handle. It look, looks nice, it feels nice. Just a nice camera. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and uh, I will gladly answer them. Um, if you have any requests on um, Gear Talk, let me know as well. I will come back with a video on the Nikon FG and later with the uh, Minolta X700. Um, so those are covered already. Um, don't forget to visit my website, erikbraam.eu, and uh, to enroll for a workshop. Maybe we'll meet. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time. Three. Here. Three. Oh. No, I'm not a writer. Okay.